What is going on everyone? My name is Peter and we're back again for another daily video. Today I wanted to talk about carbs, carbohydrates. Are they good? Are they evil? Are they on the dark side? Are they on the good side? Do they have a red lightsaber? Do they have a blue lightsaber? You know what I mean, okay? So are they evil? No, they're not. Are they the answer to fat loss? No, they're not. Not necessarily, okay? So what's the main thing we all know that fat loss weight loss comes down to it's energy balance okay we've talked about this before i'm sure you have anyone who's worth the salt will mention this so to lose fat you need to be um consuming less energy calories than you currently need to maintain your body weight so you need to be in a calorie deficit so it doesn't matter if you eat no carbs doesn't matter if you eat 400 grams of carbs you can lose weight in both it just you have to be consuming less calories than you currently take okay the reason why low carb keto seems works so effectively for a lot of people is because it allows them to achieve a calorie deficit um fairly easily okay why that is um there are a few different reasons why that is um firstly would be adherence so we know that adherence is very important once you control for calories and protein whether you can stick to a diet or not is a big determinant of will it, of if it will be successful or not because um, there's no point stick going to the doing a diet if you can't maintain it because um, you won't succeed and you won't lose fat in the long term. So the keto diet, low carb diet or eliminating carbs, whatever you want to call it, can be effective to a lot of people because it puts a clear demarcation between foods you can can eat and foods you can't eat and what foods are high in carbs what foods have carbs in them tons of really good foods that we all tend to overeat and snack on like ice cream pizza burgers fries chips um cereal like sugary cereal okay so straight away if you do, do low carb you do keto that's all eliminated okay so if you can't have that so you know that you can't buy it and it's not gonna be in your kitchen okay and what other foods are high in carbs you um like rice potatoes tubers greens whole grains so those are kind of the, the ideal carbohydrates to eat generally their whole their whole foods are low in sugar they're high in fiber they're quite they're very satiating and they have a good micronutrient profile whereas the ones we talked about before the ice cream and stuff isn't quite is quite the opposite in terms of um satiating and they're quite calorie dense okay so both of those foods get eaten and they're both effective in different ways for um, if you want to stick to your diet because all of those foods you mentioned they're very common in most people's diets so carbs make up about 60 to two thirds of the total food total food availability out there so when you eliminate two thirds of the possible foods you can eat eating becomes a lot less appealing because us as humans, we like variety, we like um, variability, we like to mix and match, we like different tastes. And when you take out two thirds of possible um, foods, eight possible variations and um, eating becomes a whole lot less attractive. And I know, you know, you still like eating steak and eggs, of course, it's still tasty. But if you're eating the same kind of foods day in, day out, week, week in, week out, slowly over time, your appetite will start to decrease. Um, you know the taste will become a whole lot blander because it's the same thing repeated okay and it'll become a lot less a lot more mundane so um you start to cr you start to crave you start to eat less over time okay and that facilitates a calorie deficit so it's very effective in that manner for adherence because um you just eliminate a ton of foods and um if you're going to do that keto low carb diet right you're going to stick to whole foods so you're going to stick to eggs lean meats um you know green veggies vegetables okay so those are all whole foods and just like rice and potatoes they're not that calorie dense they're very satiating okay the two most and one of the two the two foods that have the highest thermic effect are, is fiber so whole grains and um, protein so that's always a plus so that's the it call, takes more energy to, to um digest these foods and assimilate the nutrients so 
yeah, whole foods, it's got it's gonna work. It's not magic, okay? And as I said before, you can lose you can lose fat on four hundred grams of carbs a day and no carbs a day. It just depends on whether you're in an energy deficit. For a lot of people, for some people it's easier for them to um, eat less carbs because they're sometimes over eating. But if you're someone who cares about your performance in the gym, um, I would strongly advise and a lot of other people would as well to keep your carbohydrates as high as possible because look at any athlete, look at any football team, rugby team, whatever, they all eat high carbs, they all eat a lot of carbohydrates and you don't need to eat as much carbs as them obviously because you're not playing a football game every day but um, they do fuel performance and um, if you take them out of your diet you're going to find that you might feel a bit more sluggish uh, you won't have as good as a pump, which we all you know low and know and love, and um, yeah, and there's a whole lot of other hormonal insulin effects that promote lean body mass, but I'm not gonna get into that, okay? So carbohydrates can are usually the fir like the first thing that after f after you enter that carbohydrates are usually the first thing that's decreased because, um, as we said. You need to keep protein high in a diet um, to preserve lean body mass, which is always good. And there's a certain amount of fat, essential fats that you need in your diet for to function properly. So this is um, between 0.6 and 0.7 grams per kilogram of body weight. So you need to have a certain amount of fats. You need to keep your proteins high. So the only thing that can come down then is carbohydrates. And yes, carbs are very important for performance and um you know you should you should probably keep them in your diet um but you can reduce them without feeling the effects you would maybe of eliminating fat which would not be advised by anyone or protein which would not be advised by anyone so it's the easiest option to decrease but if you don't have to decrease them i wouldn't advise to decrease them because your performance in the gym will suffer and thus your strength will be less you'll be able to lift less weight less reps you'll fatigue earlier and you're gonna put yourself at an increased risk of muscle loss and strength loss because you won't be able to um, maintain the mechanical tension on your muscles through workload. So we could go on about this all day. Carbs, are they good or are they evil? They're not evil. Um, you know, the foods we talked about there, the whole foods, the rice pasta, rice, pasta, um, oatmeal, potatoes, they're all part of a healthy, balanced diet. Okay, you need to find what foods work for you. For a lot of people, carbs, you know, they prefer us to take them out. But if you're someone who cares about the performance in the gym or in the field or whatever, you should keep them in for sure. And yeah, just go back to calories, guys. Eat a whole foods diet and, um, you know, try to keep your carbs as reasonably high as possible. So there's tons of debate about this and it's not going to stop because, as we all know, people are very passionate about this kind of subject so hope i cleared something up for you today maybe something to think about do you think i'm crazy do you think i'm not i don't know so um don't forget to like share comment subscribe peace